Hello ladies and gentlemen, all that magic here, and welcome back to another World of Tanks video. And in this video, I'm going to start off the new series of the E50M. So I'm going to be basically going up the E50M line, and I'm going to do a review on each tank up until the E50M. And I'm starting off low with the Panzer 3A. So I really want to give you guys all the input I can on all the tanks because, I mean, you're going to be playing all of them. Well, maybe, unless you free XP, which is a good option too, I suppose. But if you actually play all the tanks in the line, I want to make these reviews possible and, like, open to you. If you're new to the game or you just want to know about the tank. So we're looking at the E50M line. So E50M's right here. So let's go back. So there are a few options you can uh, do to get to that tank. Like a few paths. Or actually no. There's only one path uh, <laughs> you can actually take to get to that tank. Um, so, but that uh, branch can lead off into other, like it branches off into other uh, areas, or other tank lines. So, we got the Panzer 3A, which I'm going to review now. Uh, we got the DW2. We have the VK 30.01H, VK 30. 0.02m and right here you can see the first break off which goes into the tiger line which goes up to the 100 so we got the vk 3002m panther panther 2 um the panther can either go to the tiger 2 or you can go to the panther 2 in this case we're going to be going to the panther 2 because i've already done that u100 line and then after the panther 2 is the e50 and then e50m so there's a pretty good amount of tanks uh, in this tech tree I still have to go up. <laughs> I haven't started it at all. Brand new. Um, I kind of wanted to do this line just because I haven't done a really consistent tank line in a while. And I felt like doing something new at the same time. So these guns, I mean... I really love the German tanks. I love the German guns. They're accurate. Um, at the lower tiers, they may not do the most alpha, but I know they have deadly accuracy, which which I like in tanks. So, Also, the E50M, uh, it requires, I think, the least amount of XP, uh, 183,000. And since I've already done the tank destroyer line and the E100 line I'm going to be saving lots of experience on all these tanks because German tanks they do share guns between each other especially at the the lower tiers so this is going to be nice so without further ado let's get into the Panzer 3A so we got the specs of this tank uh, hit points 240 horsepower 440 gets up to speed pretty quick with a speed limit of 68 now I Don't quite frequently actually hit 68 in this tank You kind of have to go downhill in order to actually hit that top speed So don't think you're gonna be going 68 uphill or 68 even on flat ground you may hit like 55 You're not gonna go that fast so traverse speed 44 degrees per second whole armor very bad don't rely on it it's a light tank um, turret armor 30 pretty bad standard shell damage uh, okay we're gonna go into the guns we're gonna go into the baggages for this so there are two guns here as you can see both are good there's the two centimeter flak and then there's the 5 centimeter L42. And both guns, in my opinion, are great. Um, 
the so we're starting off strong at the low tiers which I like I'm fine with this this is great so penetration we got 60 penetration with standard rounds on the 5 centimeter 96 with APCR 25 with HG I don't shoot HG especially with these low caliber guns it's not a good idea in my opinion um, but the standard shells 60 pen that'll get you by pretty well as you can see this tank 15 millimeters of armor it'll go through another Panzer 3A like butter you're mostly up against light tanks anyway um, the occasional Matilda but I mean if you see a Matilda avoid it <laughs> um, uh, but the APCR in this tank 96 pen that's pretty good uh, shell velocity on this tank in my opinion is pretty darn good but the downside is the aim time 2.29 seconds is not really a good aim time especially in these fast tanks where you're going super fast and you're gonna be trying to shoot stuff on the move the gun dispersion the accuracy on this tank is not good at all um, so don't I mean you can you might as well just try to shoot on the move. Rounds are super cheap. Unless you're a step better and you don't want your hit rate to go down or whatever. But I mean, if you're that crazy about your stats, you probably already free speed this tank by now. So, um, accuracy 0.47. Now, that uh, low tier tank 0.47 accuracy, it's terrible, but. I mean, you, you'll get by, you're shooting 24 rounds a minute, so you're okay. Um, yeah, turret traverse, 35 degrees, uh, blah, 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 signal range, 445, works pretty well, so no issues there. Now we go in, oh, also, I'm just going to mention a few of the uh, downsides of the 5 cent centimeter, so shooting on the move not gonna work very well but you have such a quick reload so you might as well try anyway that's what I do and I sometimes get the occasional hidden and I think it's worth it you have more than enough shells in this tank um, so yeah also sniping in this tank is kind of a hassle brawling in this tank is kind of not a good idea you just gotta figure it out it's a low tier light tank you just it it's very adaptable it's an adaptable tank it's not one roll it you can do whatever just mid-range is my recommendation personally I wouldn't really hug the guy or I wouldn't try and shoot at him from a mile away so yeah points four seven accuracy um okay now we're going into the two centimeter flak cannon so this is a a bit of a more consistent gun in my opinion so rate of fire rounds a minute 136.36 uh, rounds a minute that's a lot it's uh, 11 damage per hit penetration 39 it's a rapid fire gun uh, like a machine gun kind of uh, except it's flak so the aim time significantly better 1.39 seconds to adapt for those rapid firing shells it needs to um, the circle expands so you got 0.44 accuracy the aiming reticle when you zoom in it expands not too much when you shoot um, as you can see in the clip that's playing so yeah it's not too terrible so it'll you'll work out and it's good when you're circling tanks you got that rapid fire if you get to the rear of a guy you got that 39 pen that'll go through the rear of most tier 3 light tanks 51 penetration with APCR uh, yeah so you can't really if you engage any heavy tanks like well technically it's the medium the Matilda for example again uh, you're gonna have really big issues with a Matilda so uh, try and avoid tanks like you need an escape plan with this gun but you got that speed of 68 kilometers an hour 
more like 55 though um, so you can get out of the most sticky situations pretty well so yeah very both guns are good it just depends on what play style you want if you want uh, and I believe it's like a 4 5 clip um, auto loader so uh, the clip reloads in like three seconds or something short like that so it's pretty nice so it's really personal preference try both I recommend trying both whichever one you do best in um, I'll just take out so consumables and equipment on this tank I mean I don't carry any equipment it's a low tier tank personally I don't really I don't overkill um, I'm only gonna have this tank for a few games anyway so yeah uh, let's see supplies major, nothing nothing fancy it's a low tier tank crew I just I don't even have a 100% crew I just threw a free crew in it because I'm not spending a hundred thousand silver um, for a like crew that's from my E100 or something crazy I think that is about it uh, I in the later tiers in the later tier videos uh, I may have some experienced players uh, actually talk to some of those experienced players and uh, answer or ask some questions and hopefully they'll answer any questions you guys have for those higher tier tanks I know at lower tiers I mean there's not really much anyone can help with you're gonna be through these tanks so quick thank you all for tuning in I hope you enjoyed this I hope to do many more series like this so yeah thank you all for tuning in and I will see you on the battlefield